Hello, this is Tim here from AACC. I hope you're keeping well. Um, this is a, uh, an AC induction motor. I'm uh, teaching a mechatronics capstone class at Anne Arundel Community College, and this is going to be um, our second project. Uh, I always feel like my students have a hard time with uh, uh, definitely AC motors and this whole concept of induction. I think it baffles them, so uh, I want them to build uh, an AC motor. So this is a, um, a four pole motor, I'm just using simple bolts. I have um, magnet wire wound around them about 600 times. I used um, uh, you know, a screw gun to do that, that made it quite easy. 30 AWG, maybe, maybe even a bit more, 26 AWG magnet wire gauge. Um, so there's the four poles, I'm just using two by fours and a bit of plywood to build it. Um, this design is from, it's actually Christine um, Mecklenburg, uh, it's her design, I found it on YouTube and uh, thought, uh, thought uh, she did a very nice job with it so I wanted to rip it off. Um, the only change, I just thought it was a total pain trying to get the um, uh, lid to sit on uh, a graphite pencil, so I just rigged this up, it's made with um, Vex Robotics sh a shaft, it's a uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of colleges would have that already. So essentially you have a, um, a transformer that's taken the AC down to uh, actually, uh, it's roughly about 12, only 12 volts um, peak to peak. And then, the, like the, like uh, Christine said, the primary windings are connected directly to the AC. Um, so if this is zero degrees, this is going to be 180 degrees. And then um, I found uh, this. This is a capacitor here. Um, the trick with the the, the real I, I thought it was quite tricky is uh, the um, in order. So what does the capacitor do? The capacitor, when you put it in the circuit or in series, um, it causes a ninety degree phase shift. So if this is zero degrees, this is going to be ninety. That's one hundred and eighty, and that's two hundred and seventy, and that causes your turning effect. Your 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 you're going to be induced, um, well that causes the turning effect on the steel rotor essentially, so um, induction it would be the induced uh, turning effect. So what else can I say, so the trick the trick is you need to use a non-polarized capacitor, so um, Christine and I think the other chap's name is Henry are using maybe 200 microfarad capacitors and they're quite tricky to get, I couldn't get a capacitor that high that's non-polarized. So um, these are, what is this? This is something called a crossover capacitor and it's used on speakers. So I went to my local uh, car audio um, store here in Annapolis and um, you could purchase these. They're, like, they're kind of expensive, like $5 a capacitor, but they work. So um, this is a, a, 60, uh, a roughly 60 to 70 micro farad capacitor. It's non-polarized and it works. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and then I'm going to show you what it looks like on the oscilloscope so you can actually see the phase change. So let me just plug this in. Oh. And there it goes. Oops. So here is the, the channel one of the oscilloscope. And uh, you can see that's our just our sine wave there. I'm using probes that are um, I don't know what, what you call them, but they, they basically attenuate the signal. Now let's see. Can I zoom in on that? So you can see they're attenuating the signal a fair bit. Now that's channel one. If I can turn on channel two, you can see there it is there. Now what's happening here? You can see that there's a phase change, and you can see that it's it's um, it's. It's impeding the what would it be? It's a, why is it decreasing the? It's decreasing the amplitude of the signal, the a, the, the AC signal. So it, there, there's your phase shift anyway, 90 degrees phase shift. So that's it. Hope, hopefully that will help some of you.